Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Lex Thomas 21. I'm back with more Back to the Future gameplay. Like I said, you guys, earlier in my previous videos, I'm really enjoying this game. Hope you guys have been enjoying my gameplay as well. So let's get into this. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please slap the like button. Please subscribe for more. Back, let's get sir. into this. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, let's, let's get, get in. Take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid. We'll see. Let's get it. Let's go. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I found Arthur. He's staying at the Majestic Arms. That flea bag? He's too classy for that. Yeah, well, anyway. You want to pop over there right now and talk to him about this evidence you got. I can't take more than a five-minute break. Get him to come here. I'm not sure he'd find this place inviting. Then I guess he might say we're stuck at an impasse. -y. Nice caricatures up there, huh? Yeah, Zane's an ace cartoonist. But it's kind of hard for me to look at all those faces knowing the guys they belong to are all six feet under. Break a leg out there. Thanks. All right, so it looked like Trixie won't leave. So I gotta bring Arthur to her. So let's see what happens. Let's go get Arthur. Yeah, but I'm really enjoying this game. I've been losing my mind for real, man. Just, I don't know, maybe the, it's just the music or maybe it's the characters, I don't know. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I understand people said they didn't like this game. I, I'm liking it. Maybe just cause I am biased for the Back to the Future franchise. But I'm really loving this game though. All right, let's go in here. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Is Artie still here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We'd never make you take any unnecessary... <gasps> Sagan. Where's Kid? Don't worry. Uh-oh. I might have fucked up. Let's go back into the squeakeasy. Let's see what happens. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? You're doing it again. You're trying to steal my girl, ain't you? Give me a break. She's not my era. Now you're gonna insult her? I ought to paste you one right on the... Let him go, Ernie. Jeez, you're a mean drunk. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Buddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to... Come for me, cue ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Atta girl. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? I'll never.
never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing. I... Ah! Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Oh shit, what happened? If he would've got shot, I would be disappearing right now. So Marty should not have to worry about if he's dead or not. Cause you, he would be disappearing right now. Alright, hold on. Oh shit. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid, well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh, no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to start bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on her knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on her knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly think. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! Nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. I don't think so. Maybe not. Not sure what that... Sorry about this, Dad. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? I talked to Kid. Oh? He told me about Artie. Oh. It was awesome of you to plead for his life. And it was... Uh, awesome of Kid to spare it. So you see why I gotta get rid of all the dirt I got on Kid. As long as he's loyal to me, I gotta stay loyal to him. I... Don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie 
was supposed to be safe. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Adi was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've got a hunch he'll come around. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. All right, looks like the cop will not is not listening to Trixie, so I gotta finally get him to talk. I guess that's what I gotta go right now. Let's change this up real quick. Let's change the mood up real quick. I gotta get this dude to be sad so he can confess what's going on real quick. I really hope I don't get copyrighted for these songs real quick. Hey, yo, Trixie, nice though. She had a nice rack. I'm gonna lie about that. Danny, you. So about those troubles. They all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys when this uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. When not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, my gal Betty left me. Because she thinks I'm a bad provider and a head case. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma, Betty? <laughs> what? Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. But the heck with her. I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this, I don't think straight. But listen. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. Sharing love, they're not meant for blaring love. Whisper in my ear, so no one can hear. Shh. Whisper in my ear, let me read you soft and clear. 
Danny. You. So about that secret. Oh, yeah. My secret. Well, you're my pal. So well, I can tell you. But don't let it get out. I've been working for Tannen for over a month now. What? It's true. All I gotta do is look the other way while evidence is getting destroyed or a truck full of gin is coming across the county line and Tannen makes sure an extra bunch of bills makes their way into my pay envelope. Great deal, huh? No, not a great deal. What's the problem? People need to drink, right? As long as no one's getting hurt, why shouldn't Daniel J. Parker make a few bucks on the action? But people are getting hurt. Kid's a killer. Ah, that's just rumors and circumnavigational evidence. Although, that wall of fame is pretty spooky. Oh, God. I've made a horrible mistake. I thought if I could get my hands on some money, that Betty'd take me back. But when she finds out what I've done, she'll never even talk to me again. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> Come on, Danny, pull yourself together. It's not so bad. Not so bad? I'm a corrupt cop who's lost his only chance at true love. How's that not so bad? <laughs> Hang in there, Danny. Oh, God. <laughs>